What would you do for love? Would you go as far as to cross the boundaries of life and death? Picture this. The year is 1931 in Key West, where 54-year-old radiology technician Carl Tanzler meets the captivating 22-year-old Maria Elena Milagro de Hoyos. Their paths cross in the most unlikely of places, a hospital where the young Elena is battling a formidable enemy, tuberculosis. Carl is no ordinary man. He's a man of science, a man of medicine, but he's not qualified to treat tuberculosis. Nonetheless, drawn in by Elena's charm and beauty, he's convinced that he can save her. He showers her with gifts, and his days become a tireless pursuit of remedies, both conventional and unconventional. However, the cruel hand of fate has a different plan. Despite Carl's relentless efforts, Elena succumbs to her illness in October, leaving a grief-stricken Carl behind. But Carl's love for Elena doesn't die with her. He pays for her mausoleum, ensuring she has a final resting place as beautiful as she was. Every night, under the cloak of darkness, Carl visits Elena's mausoleum. He stands vigil beside her, a silent sentinel in the stillness of the night. Two years pass this way, with Carl's love for Elena remaining as steadfast as ever. Their story could have ended here, a tragic tale of love and loss. But this is not a conventional love story. In 1933, Carl does something unthinkable. He brings Elena's corpse back to his home, a secret kept from the world. But this was not the end of their story. It was just the beginning of a bizarre tale of love and obsession. When love turns into obsession, boundaries blur, and for Carl, death was not the end of his love for Elena. In the wake of Elena's untimely passing, Carl's fixation took a morbid turn. His heart ached with a grief so profound that he could not bear the thought of letting Elena go. He did what few could even fathom. He paid for Elena's mausoleum, a final resting place that would allow him to stay close to her. Night after night, under the veil of darkness, Carl visited Elena's mausoleum. He spent countless hours in the company of her lifeless form, a testament to a love that refused to be ended by death. As the days turned into months, and months into years, Carl's visits became a nightly ritual, a secret shared only between him and Elena. But two years into this unorthodox routine, Carl's obsession compelled him to cross an unthinkable boundary. He made the decision to bring Elena home. His love for her, once warm and comforting, had turned into a chilling fixation that drove him to an act of desperation. With the utmost secrecy, he removed Elena's body from the mausoleum. He transported her to his home, a place where he could keep her close, a place where he could continue to love her, unhindered by the constraints of societal norms. To prevent Elena's body from succumbing to the ravages of time, Carl took meticulous measures. He stuffed her body with rags, used wire hangers to maintain her form, and covered her in plaster of Paris. His actions, though macabre, were driven by a desperate need to preserve the physical embodiment of his love. For seven years, Carl lived with Elena's body, holding on to a love that had crossed the boundaries of life and death. His home became a shrine to Elena, a place where he could continue to express his love, a love that had transcended the confines of mortality. In the quiet town of Key West, a shocking discovery was about to unravel. Just another quiet day in the picturesque town of Key West, where the palm trees swayed gently and the sun painted the sky with hues of orange and pink. But as night fell, an eerie spectacle unfolded. A young neighborhood boy out past his bedtime spotted something he would never forget. He saw a man dancing with what he thought was a massive doll, an image so surreal it was etched into his memory. That man was none other than Carl Tanzler, the same man who had fallen in love with the beautiful Maria Elena Milagro de Hoyos. But as we know, this was no ordinary love story. The doll the boy had seen was, in fact, the preserved body of Elena, Carl's deceased beloved. Upon hearing the boy's account, the authorities were alerted, leading to a most macabre discovery. Hidden away in Carl's home, they found Elena's body, preserved with rags, wire hangers, and covered in plaster of Paris. A ghastly sight that sent shivers down their spines, a chilling testament to a love that had crossed the boundaries of life and death. News of this shocking revelation spread like wildfire, stunning the residents of Key West. Many struggled to reconcile the image of Carl, 
the quiet radiology technician, with the man who had stolen and preserved the body of his deceased patient. The media, on the other hand, spun this gruesome tale into a romantic narrative, painting Carl as a grief-stricken lover who believed he could someday bring Elena back to life. But the townsfolk were divided. Some sympathized with Carl's loneliness and eccentricity, while others were horrified by his actions, seeing them as a disturbing violation of Elena's rest. The tale of Carl and Elena had taken a dark turn, awakening a sleepy town to a chilling reality. In the face of such a macabre revelation, one might expect punishment, but not all stories end as we expect them to. Our tale takes an unexpected turn when the law enters the picture. Charges were indeed brought against Carl Tanzler, the man who dared to dance with death. Grave robbery, they said. A crime that typically carries a hefty sentence, but the wheels of justice can sometimes grind in strange ways. In this peculiar case, the statute of limitations had expired. Despite the glaring evidence, the legal system found itself powerless to pin the crime on Tanzler. The man who had lived with a body for seven years walked free, untouched by the long arm of the law. But this was not the end of the story. As Tanzler exited the courtroom, he found himself thrust into a media frenzy. Journalists and reporters swarmed, each vying to capture the essence of this bizarre tale. But rather than painting a picture of a disturbed man, they spun a narrative of tragic romance. The media, it seemed, were captivated by Tanzler's tale. His obsession was portrayed as a profound, albeit twisted, love. They wrote of a man so enamored that even death couldn't part him from his beloved. They spoke of his unwavering belief that he could one day resurrect Eleanor, painting a picture of a hopeless romantic rather than a grave robber. Public opinion swayed, nudged by this narrative. The man who had committed an unthinkable act was now seen not as a criminal, but as a lonely soul, a tragic figure driven by delusion and love. In the end, Carl walked free, leaving behind a story that blurred the lines between love, obsession, and the afterlife. As the years rolled on, the tale of Carl and Elena remained etched in the annals of Key West's history. The fervor of the initial discovery began to fade, but the narrative lived on, immortalized in the collective memory of the town. Carl Tanzler, also known as Carl von Kosel, did not let his love for Eleanor wane even after her body was taken from him. He continued to live in the shadow of the woman he adored, a shadow that grew longer and darker with each passing day. His belief in the possibility of reanimating Elena did not falter. He clung to it with a desperate tenacity, his hope a haunting echo in the quiet corners of his home. In the twilight of his life, Tanzler was found dead in his home. Curiously enough, he was discovered clutching a life-size effigy of Elena, a doll adorned with a death mask that bore her likeness. It was as if he had found a way to keep Elena by his side, a chilling testament to his undying love, or perhaps his unyielding obsession. The tale of Carl and Elena has left behind an enduring legacy. It drifts through the corridors of time, resurfacing now and then, a chilling reminder of a love that crossed the boundaries of life and death. It is a story that has been told and retold, each rendition adding another layer to its complex narrative. It has inspired books, films, and even operas as artists attempt to capture the essence of this bizarre tale. A love story, an obsession, or a macabre tale, Carl and Elena's story continues to haunt us, making us question, 